We will be looking at what has changed within the traditional and online shopping industry. I will be showing you the responses from members of the public and the general manager of Into Elden Square in Newcastle upon a time. Figures obtained from 2017 explain the amount of general online shopping use that has developed over that year according to the Office for National Statistics. Recent figures show that today's online shopping use will have increased further and more younger aged people will be using online. I'm investigating how this change has put people off from going to the high street. Shopping clearly has been revolutionised and those uh, retailers that have done well are retailers that have got a bricks and mortar, in other words high street location but also are strong online. Um, so the likes of John Lewis, uh, who I think are about 40% of their sales are now online. Um, now, it's where retailers haven't embraced online that uh, there tends to be more of a problem. And I think also the nature of product that people buy in shops has changed as well. So if you go back 10 years, you had a lot of, for instance, um, photographic shops that sold, that sold cameras. Now, what tended to happen there is that there is a lot of price competition in that area, so people would go away, they would, they would come into the stores, have a look, see what they wanted to buy, and then go online. So it became an unsustainable uh, product area. No, we're, we're lucky. I think Into, who owns 16 of the very largest shopping centres in the UK, um, we t because they're large, they're out of town centres, we have the opportunity to really create an experience. So we've done a lot of work on perhaps reducing the amount of retail we have, but increasing the amount of restaurants and leisure, so that it's almost a one-stop shop. So you've got the likes of Metro Centre and Elton Square, which we own both of those, where people can come in, have, have that experience, spend a day out, have an enjoyable time, um, and and then and then go home. But we've also put in things like free mobile phone charging, um, you know, nice comfortable seating, um, all sorts of things that just make the whole experience much much more uh, much better for, for customers. Well, I think customers, um, it's a, it's a kind of twofold experience. I think some things um, what what people will tend to do is have a look online, see what they can they can get. Um, see see what they want you know the prices they want to pay um, and they'll come out to the shops and, and compare that uh, equally the same thing applies people particularly for high price items will go out there um, have a look in the shops um, decide what they want to buy and then and then uh, have a look online as well so it's that really explains in a way why retailers that have an on, a strong online presence and and a strong high street presence um, are the ones that are continuing to do well. We use online shopping? Yes, uh, really often. Well, yeah. <laughs> is, it, is it quite popular for you or? Uh, yeah, because I don't really have time to go to the shop uh, shopping things itself, so. Yeah, it's very popular in the Netherlands, yeah. No time also. Thank you very much for your time. To finalize the investigation I conducted on the changes of traditional and online shopping, I found out that most of the people we spoke to, including the general manager at one of the biggest shopping centre companies in the UK, explained that online shopping could possibly be one of the most important changes in the 21st century. However, there are drawbacks where traditional shopping is at its highest for the high street, as most people prefer to go and see the product themselves rather than on a specific website. Overall, online shopping will always be the best part to 21st century life and that more people in the coming years will continue to use the service and many high street stores will suffer. Thanks very much for watching this documentary. Take care for now. Bye bye.